fans are upset with uh, with Anthony Schwartz. Uh, again, Jacoby Brissett tried to get him the ball quite a bit, and, and it did not go well. Um, he hasn't been good. I'm not ready to give up on him just yet. I'm also not ready to count on him to do something in a, in a game that we got to have. How do you balance those two, and what are your thoughts on, on Anthony Schwartz? Yeah, it's kind of why NFL needs a developmental league, right? So you could do something with a guy like Anthony Schwartz. Fact is, is that if he's on the 53, at some point he's going to be asked to play a wide receiver because he does nothing else, right? That's the problem with Anthony Schwartz right now is I would live with his faults as a wide receiver and, and kind of help him grow if he could return kicks or if he could return punts or if he could – do end arounds, right? Like if his problem was just the route running or his problem was just the catching or his problem was just the speed, there is something that you can do with all of that if those are individual issues. The problem is that there's problems with a bunch of things. And it's like if Anthony Schwartz is not out there playing receiver, what exactly is Anthony Schwartz doing for this football team other than developing, right? That's the issue that the Browns have is, you have a guy who's on the roster that you want to develop that can do nothing right now, right? Like, a lot of guys can do stuff while they develop. He can't, and that's just – that's the issue, right? So, hopefully, they have enough health in that wide receiving room to where it doesn't come to that. Um, and that's really all you could do is just hope you're healthy enough to hide him on this roster because that's really what they're trying to do is hide him and hope he develops. And, and again, the, the thought is at some point, if he catches – if he catches a couple of deep balls, he becomes a, he he is the guy that opens the speed, you know, opens the eyes of the defense because of his speed. But he has to catch the football. Yeah, yeah and <laughs> catching the football, you know, it's 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 the ultimate tease, right? You can do everything that you need to do at wide receiver except catch the ball. Remember Greg Little, he was the king of that. Great route runner, crisp, fast, big, strong dude. When the ball touches his hands, it never goes in his gloves, right? Like, it always bounces. Um, and, and that's the ultimate most frustrating player on a football team. So, yeah, and then look, and I, I don't want to sound rude here or mean about Anthony Schwartz, but the reality is the catching the football stuff, that's what pops out the fans right now because it's obvious in these preseason games. It's not necessarily the only thing wrong, Right. And that's the thing. If catching the football was the only problem with Anthony Schwartz, I could live with that because you can do things to just get him the ball in low and high percentage situations to where, hey, catch it and run, right? Um, Percy Harvin, not the greatest catcher of the football. They found ways to get him the ball, right? But he doesn't do well with end rounds, right? So the thing you would do to adjust for that, you can't really adjust for because he's also not good at that. And, and – that's why I say he is a prime sub, a prime case for why the NFL needs a developmental league because a guy like Anthony Short, who has all the talent in the world, he just needs to learn football for another two years um, before he's ready to have a spot on a roster. Um, but since he was drafted so early, he's going to maintain a spot, even though, I mean, unless he could tackle, he's basically useless. <laughs> 